I want to talk more about this with CNN chief political correspondent Dana Bash live in Los Angeles. And Dana, you know, the headline, Donald Trump doesn't speak, is bizarre enough to begin with. And for a guy who likes to embrace controversy, even stoke it, his silence today about his silence yesterday is even more remarkable. It's deafening. I have to say, even just as uh, you were coming to me, I was just looking at my phone to, ch to check his Twitter feed, sure that at some point he was going to uh, be the typical Donald Trump and take to Twitter and tweet out something uh, sort of in your face, or at least something, anything. Uh, the fact that he hasn't done that on Twitter, the fact that he hasn't said anything through his spokesman, as Sarah was talking about, the last uh, that they said officially uh, was last night when I spoke to his campaign manager who said that he didn't really hear the question and that his response was just the idea of looking into whether there are terror training camps in this country. Uh, it is highly unusual. He is not somebody who is uh, shy when it comes to controversy, and he's fought back on everything along the way over the past several months. So this is uh, perhaps, let's give him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe he actually does have a big business deal, and he's in a boardroom somewhere trying to work it out. We'll see. They say we're going to find out what it is next week. Well, he's made many, many billions, uh, as we well know. Danny, you know, politicians are always confronted with, with, you know, do they need to confront or apologize for things said or not said on the stump near them when they're at events. But with Donald Trump, it's not like this is happening in a vacuum. This issue uh, tangentially is one that he was very much involved with, the birther movement back in 2011 and 2012. He has connections to these ideas. Not just involved, John, you're absolutely right. He really helped stoke the birth, birther movement. You remember he was uh, on The View back in 2011, you know, calling out the president, saying he doesn't know whether uh, he was born in the United States. And even after the president then uh, produced his long form birth certificate saying he was born in Hawaii, uh, he said he wasn't really sure if it was authentic. Uh, the fact is, though, that was 2011, and mm -hmm. this year he hasn't been talking about it much yep. at all. In fact, I just went and looked it up. He told Anderson Cooper uh, just this summer that, uh, it, the, that he's off that subject. He wants to talk about jobs and other things. But Sarah alluded to this earlier. It's a fine line because uh, he, he is definitely trying to appeal to the sector of the Republican base that wants to hear this kind of thing from him. But at the same time, he understands that, you know, kind of that ship has sailed and he needs to look more presidential. So perhaps that's one reason why he's being very uh, un, un Trump like and being quiet to sort of see how this thing goes. Uh, it, you know, you, you don't really have an issue often where Trump is stumped. And this seems to be one of them.